my luck. Oh my god, Boise! You're walking after 17 long months! Takes more than some fucking West Nile virus and an overwhelming fear of employment to keep Percy B. Spencer on his ass. Like maybe this bottle of ass pie vermouth. <laughs> Boise, I gotta say it. I'm bored. Somehow the smokes and the booze, they just ain't doing it for me no more. You sound like that chick from Children's Aid. You know, she only hassles us because she wants me. I gotta do something different, baby. I'm suffocating in this relationship. Normally, Kevin could have cared less about whether his homework was finished or not, having chosen to spend most of his life simply coasting anyhow. But this was a special project, consisting of compromising photos of various school staff, arranged in an exotic multimedia presentation. Why don't you do like that Blondie cartoon and start catering your lazy ass? You can learn to cook something on account of you can read. Just cause I can read don't mean I want to. Are we stealing any good cooking channels with this here cable? I'll just copy that shit, you know, more or less. Depending on what's in the house, cause I don't go in for none of that shopping bullshit neither. You want my fucking family fed, you provide. That's my motto. For to endure that most humiliating of childhood exploitation. Selling candy bars for some bullshit school fun and drive. Let's check out these here ingredients. Triglossocyanide, methylmorphine, shriveled pig's anus smothered in underwear. Keep up the free work, boy. <laughs> Candy bars? Holy freak, dude. This sucks, like, so many different ways. I can't even begin to tell you. Come on in. I'm in my folks' liquor cabinet while they try to ignore the stifling onset of middle-aged disillusionment by wife-swapping at the cottage. Kevin liked Timmy's parents because their liquor cabinet had an open-door policy. Not to mention the fact that their alcoholism, coupled with their privilege, made for more sophisticated partying. Selling candy bars, huh? How'd you like in on a real business opportunity, stupid? Come outside. I'll show you my grow operation. Kevin told Timmy he thought marijuana grow operations were too costly and obvious. It's not marijuana, it's tobacco. I told my folks it's spinach. They're allergic, so I know they won't eat it. I saw the cigarettes bootleg, see? I even disguised the boxes like the real thing. Kevin was impressed with Timmy's entrepreneurial drug dealing. At 10 bucks a pack, normal cigarettes were just asking for shoddy knockoffs to cut into their margin. Kevin wanted a piece of that action and asked how he could help. <laughs> well, for one thing, you can start by holding still so you can model for the forged warning label on the box. You been eating corn chips and processed cheese again? No, I did like you said. I started a catering business from home. I, th I said what now? You remember? Here, try one of my snacks. Why? Why do I gotta? Oh, fuck. That's the, the worst tasting thing ever. Here, I made these brochures and everything. What can you cook that ain't refried in the microwave? Look at these! Plump piggy porky pops! Crimpy crusty crappy capers! Ooey gooey tuna dubas! No, listen, ain't no wife of mine gonna piss her fucking day away running around the house cooking shit like dumb, stupid friggin' housewife. I'm going to get hammered, fuck off! And it is 
because of the future that we must look to the past. Because yesterday is tomorrow, and it is for the mistakes of our forefathers that we will be remembered forever for repeating them. And furthermore, tax cuts, more lax pollution laws, ban homosexual marriage, and also, if you vote for me, I'll bring back family values. Like how the father is always right to beat his family with a stick. <gasps> You're such a public speaker, Mr. Wednick. All I need is a crowd, and I'll put them in the palm of my hand. Wow, the only thing my husband ever had in the palm of his hand, he got arrested for. I'm in politics, baby. I could make your life real easy. That's a coincidence, because it just so happens that I'm real easy. Care for some meat surprise? I'm a vegetarian, and besides, what I'm looking for ain't on the menu. Mr. Wetnick, uh, perhaps this is something best done uh, privately? That's my advisor talking. Come on, baby. Let's hit the party limo, and I'll show you what I can really do with the party whip. Ooh, a cock joke! Sophisticated! Hey there, Spencer. Nice to see you at school for a change. Here, I brought you something. It's a suspension. Kevin asked what the hell Principal Big Ass's problem was. Oh, it's one thing to smoke near school, Spencer. But to sell smokes on school property? You even took out an ad in the commencement program! As it is, we already have too many carcinogens in the goddamn insulation. <laughs> Mandatory suspension. You and McNaughton are canned. See you in three weeks, boys. I'm gonna miss ya, baby! You're too fat, so don't know how I'll get used to having a bed all to myself. I'll see ya later, boy. I'm going to Ottawa. I got a, a scholarship to university. I'm gonna take a cooking class. Must be a special class on account of all our food don't taste like shit. See you in a few months when I finish university! Oh, God! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Twain off that damn shampoo commercial and come back to bed! But Anastasia, I have to get some rest for work tomorrow. You prime the fucking engine, you better start the fucking car! You know what I'm saying? It's been six hours. It takes me a while on account of the drinking. Is that my fault? Alba's room service. Yes, sir. Would you mind taking over here for a little while? Happy to oblige, sir. <clears throat> oh, of course. Um, she is a tad wee bit of a bush pig, sir. Well, I guess. 
Whatever. Put the rest on my parliamentary credit card. Oh, thank you, sir. Have a good night. I'm Anastasia. And I'm delighted you chose to stay at our quality line of fine hotels. Oh, oh, yes! Christ, you're good! Freshen my drink while you're at it. Oh, baby! It's so nice to see my tax dollars at work. been to such a swanky do. Usually the only functions I attend are the bodily variety. So, are these all celebrities? It's Canada. Who knows? So, you don't know no one? Hmm. Well, that's Minister Lettrec and the intern that he's fucking. Oh, and who's that? That's opposition defense critic Papino and the whore he takes everywhere. Frig and that guy? That's Billy Swanson, the poster boy for cerebral palsy and the high paid prostitute who pushes his wheelchair everywhere. Gosh, to think you politicians are supposed to be so responsible. And you're actually just a bunch of drunken shitbags like everyone else? Kind of depressing, actually. Isn't that opposition leader Wetnik and the garbage bag he's been having sex with lately? Rumor is she's married. Yeah! Without that income from the school, our grow operation's gonna have to find other ways to expand, man. Kevin told Timmy that his mother was living in Ottawa now and that he could bring a supply of bootleg tobacco down there to sell in schools around the nation's capital. Now you're talking like a businessman, Spencer. Good thinking. Yeah! Kevin sure was excited to be part of the bootleg cigarette smuggling industry. And he couldn't wait until he finally got to return to Ottawa. Which was too bad, because the dumbass still had such shitty sense of direction that he could barely find the place. Sweet, huh? Now, when I eat dinner, it's in a private box, and I can watch the Ottawa Senators play hockey! Kevin said this didn't seem like any university he'd stolen anything from before. I, uh, uh, yeah, I, uh, I gotta come clean with you there, boy. I, uh, I was kinda blowing smoke up your old man's ass on that count. I kinda took a tumble with this here politician. And he's connected up to Ying Yang. Kevin didn't know what a Ying Yang was, but upon reflection, he had to admit the whole situation seemed pretty sweet. <laughs> Poisy! Sorry I missed you, baby, but uh, things are they're, they're tough here at university. I uh, I gotta look at books all day, and uh, I'm always boning up on my own work. Ew! <laughs> Stop it! He can hear you! Remember, the can opener's in the kitchen drawer! What the fuck you want? You know what to say, Timmy. Yeah, I guess I'm, like, supposed to apologize for getting your kid involved with my shady operation. What? He had a shady operation and he wasn't cutting the old man in on the bargain? I'll kick him a new asshole. Get in here, I want to hear the whole story. I'm 
Mr. Wetnick, is it true that your party consistently blocks legislation that would tax industries uh, who pollute? Sit back, Bucky. I'll tell you a story. Um, my name's uh, Shecky. It's the story of a man who was born on a farm, who had to haul manure into the field. The more shit I hauled, the more plants grew. That's when I learned that shit was good for the environment. That's why our factories pump shit into the environment every day for our own good. Between you, me, and my readers, Mr. Wetnick, I think you'll be our next Prime Minister, Mr. Wetnick. That's why I gave the exclusive to the best reporter in the pool, kid. You really think so? Yes, for a pig ignorant compliant wannabe from Buttplug Junction, you should be just smart enough not to rock the boat. What? I said send your photographer over and I'll let you have an exclusive photo of my family by the jacuzzi. After I get my whore into a hotel. No worries, Mr. Wetney. Oh. In a rich house, your mama's politically untouchable, and your father had no forwarding address to find you. Finally, everything's just the way we like it. Come on, let's go peruse the cop here at Villa. <laughs> no way, baby. There's no way I'm getting rid of my boy. Oh, come on, baby. He's cramping our style. Besides, you're enough of a political liability without dragging El Retardo Grande around. It's not his fault he ain't got a decent school system. Oh, and I suppose the fact that the public school system sucks is the government's fault. Son of a fucking hole! They're trying to cut you out, boy. There's only one thing to do. Reinforcement. The lemur, Kevin! Go use the phone in the solarium! Are you the son of a bitch who's been tossing it into my wife? What? No, of course not! In fact, I was just rescuing her. As you can see, someone tied her up and... Uh... <laughs> Come on, baby. I'm taking you back to university. Put me down, you fuckwad! I don't want to go with you! Get your hands off of me! Jesus Christ! I can't appear in the house looking like this! Don't worry! I, I got a plan that'll distract and confuse the opposition! Order, order! The House recognizes Prime Minister Fluster Flabbergast. I'd like to know how we in Parliament are expected to carry on the nation's business when the honorable member in opposition can't even be bothered to show up on time. What in the name of Fuddle Duddle are you insane? No, I'm on a jet ski, because that's the kind of dynamic, hip, with it guy I am. You look like shit. Um, uh, that's because I've been fighting corruption in my search for family values. I opened a copy of Fink magazine today and found this photograph. Sir, you're a married man running on the family values platform, and yet, with three children and other business interests, here you are having it off with a skank from up the line. Hey, hey, we're all in politics. Everyone knows we're all hooring around up here. He's got a well, I guess he's right. Oh, yes! But did they know that you were simply using this woman to hide your homosexual activity? So what do you have against homosexuals? Nothing. Except you're using your affair to hide the homosexuality that you're using to hide the fact that you're hiding millions of dollars in offshore accounts to avoid taxes. Who cares? 
Have we spent any of our budget on anything besides spying on that dickwad? Remember, we'll refer to the leader of the opposition as Honorable Dickwad. Holy frig, nothing sticking to this guy. Wait, I want to try! I want to try! During sex, he likes to dress like a woman and he makes me call him Daisy! He can't fight like a man. He slaps and pulls hair like a sissy. This is ridiculous. I don't have to endure this sort of species barrage. I have a clan meeting. Uh, um, uh, he's a vegetarian, from Alberta. Now you're fucked. That's a lie. No, it's true. He always ate my crappy, crummy candy crulas, but he'd never touch my meat surprise! Well, baby, I hope you's not feeling bored no more. Nah, but from now on, the only cooking I'll be doing is in the bedroom! <laughs> Who needs the bedroom, baby? What the? But it's only 3 p.m. The clock must be broken. You think they'll notice there's too many dongs? There's never too many dongs, baby! 